Hi guys, it is Better With New Name. My name is Dr. Nune Malik and as you might know, I'm a violinist and today I decided to make a little tutorial on Mazaz Etude number 23. One of my followers actually asked me to help her with the broken octaves, so here comes. Let's go. So what's really great here is that it is very characteristic also, it is a very musical uh, etude, so you can actually have a lot of fun while practicing that, so I hope you really do. And now getting to the octaves passages, I'm going just to play a couple of bars before and I'll get into the detailed tutorial how to practice those passages. Here we have a different uh, set of patterns in octaves. First we have the chords, the accenting chords, and here what's important is to make sure that you're, well, in all octaves overall, it's very important to know the bass note, but especially here because this is sort of jumping pattern. <laughs> make sure here guys that our fingers are as light as a feather because your fingers should be extremely um, mobile here sort of you know the speed and the velocity it only can be achieved if you have very little resistance on the string so make sure not to create extra resistance on the fingerboard and uh, here here we have a more general movement of, I like to call it like, you know, the elbow wheel. Your wrist here is the most important and the main tool. At the bottom of the first page, the last line, we find the biggest uh, passage in octaves so far. what's important again to really know your bass like the bass line the bass note the finger really has to know where exactly it's going and what's really helping me is the mental note I always know if it's a half a tone or a tone that's very important usually if it's a half a tone uh, difference you really don't want to move your hand that much because it just creates more instability in your left wrist so just fingers and wrist tone this is not that uh, difficult <laughs> and if you're up for a challenge I dare you to play the second uh, voice only and then the mute the lower finger
trust me, it will give you so much more control over your octaves. You have no idea. And the second page doesn't really consist of any new material. And what is interesting here, the patterns are repeating. So if you nail the first couple of octaves in the first page, you can easily uh, tackle the whole etude. Um, here uh, at the end, we have the similar pattern. But you already know how to practice that one. And so that's it guys. If you follow my advice, I guarantee you that in no time you'll be able to play these octaves like a pro. So let me know if you have any more questions. I'm always open to all of your suggestions. So uh, either ask them here in YouTube or on Instagram. And I hope that you're staying home, that you are safe and sound and that you're practicing. Be productive. Bye.